cool. Uh, hello, uh, this is Michael again. Today I want to talk about something that I haven't made a video about yet. I think that the reason I haven't talked about it yet though is because there is a lot of stigma around it. It still is a little bit internalized, some internalized ableism. The thing that I want to talk about is the fact that I have a chronic illness. I have a neurological disease and it sucks. It's called fibromyalgia and if you think that it's rheumatological or an autoimmune disease or something, you're mistaken and that's okay. We're going to talk about some myths about fibromyalgia today because I hate when people get all up in my business about what fibromyalgia really is. I'm going to add some links in the description so before you want to comment and tell me that I'm wrong about something it'd be super awesome if you could go read those links and then come back. For a lot of people who live with FM it's really really hard to talk about it not just FM for a lot of people who live with chronic illness it's hard to talk about it with healthy people because just talking about this aspect of our lives sometimes comes across as being like morbid. It's not really like that for us. If I ignored the fact that I have a chronic illness and that I'm in pain all the time and all that kind of stuff, that would be really fucking weird for me. And and, and it gets challenging because somebody will like ask you how you're doing and you're like, oh, you know, I'm okay. You know, I'm in a lot of pain, but I'm okay. And people are immediately like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I didn't like, can I help you? What's... And you're like, no, no, no. <laughs> And I understand when people do that, they're trying to be helpful, and I'm not trying to uh, make you feel bad for trying to be helpful. I'm just trying to help you learn to be more helpful. It's people helping people. It's a beautiful thing. Okay, so, to the myths. Myths, this is apparently a thing I'm doing now. Myth. Myth number one, and a very damaging one, I think, is that only women get fibromyalgia. New research suggests that between 10 and 40% of people with FM are men, but it's way, way harder for men to get diagnosed with fibromyalgia uh, for a couple of reasons. One, because they're less likely to go to the doctor for something like pain because they're socialized to just like shut up about anything uncomfortable. It's, it's harder for men to ask for help and it's harder for men to come to terms with the fact that they may need help if there's no physical anything suggesting that they do. The next one, and this one drives me nuts, as you can imagine, is that young people are too young to get fibromyalgia. I get this a lot where people be like, oh, you're too young to be so tired, or like, you're too young to be in pain. You're too young to be taking all of that medication. Okay, cool. Anybody at any age can get fibromyalgia. It can be really difficult though for people outside the norm, outside of the older women area to get properly diagnosed. Unfortunately, a lot of doctors are not very well educated as far as fibromyalgia goes and and they'll be like, well, you're too young, so you don't have it. It's not, that's it's just not helpful. And, and it sucks because a lot of people who are younger uh, have a really hard time being treated for it. The first doctor I went to when I got sick, before I was diagnosed, refused to treat me because of my mohawk and my tattoos. She was like, well, you know, it just seems like you might be looking for, like, meds. So I am looking for meds, but because I'm in pain. <laughs> Myth number three, this one probably should have been number one, but that fibromyalgia is just not real. Just not. We're just all making it up. This one is hilarious, honestly. Like, it's it's not it's not hilarious because a lot of people have to deal with this from their loved ones and just caught like from doctors and crap, but Honestly, anybody, especially who works in the medical field, who thinks that fibromyalgia is not real, there's been so, so much research done in the last 10 years showing us that fibromyalgia is very real, is a neurological condition, you can, you can view it on CAT scans now. So, like, those people need to get over themselves, jump on the internet, educate themselves, and just generally stop being stupid. I, I, what I don't understand is what do people think that we gain from pretending to have fibromyalgia? we get to hang out at home and like do fucking nothing all the time like no, having fm blows even if we even if there was no pain and we were all just like really bored or something it blows it's boring as fuck you can't go out hang out with your friends you can't party you can't spend as much time with your kids you can't work most of the time you can't go to school like it sucks there's nothing good about it it just it just sucks there's there's no benefit to pretending to have this disease Four, fibromyalgia, is this sort of a, a two-part myth? Fibromyalgia is curable and or is never cured. It's an incurable disease. There's nothing you can like do that just makes it go away. However, there are people who stop having it 
we don't know why it's not always the same a lot of them will then like take whatever they did and claim that like that's the cure and it never is anybody's is being like this thing this pill or food or diet or whatever will cure you from fibromyalgia seriously snake water hey can you say hi frank say hi you mm -hmm. wait hi your microphone woke up so we're gonna finish filming the video together right Bye. right Bye. we're not gonna watch rap right now sweetie do you like seeing yourself yeah you look good in mommy's hat <sighs> i'll say that everybody has that thing and if everybody just did that then it would cure them all and fibromyalgia would no longer be real that's never true and it doesn't work that way uh, myth number five is that fibromyalgia is all in our heads the idea behind that myth is that we're making it up or it's like a mental illness of some kind that being said it is a neurological disease so if by it's all in your head you mean it's all in our brains then that much is true number six if doctors don't know what's wrong with you they just say you have fibromyalgia and send you on your way there are some doctors i guess who do this and those people should lose their medical license because they suck at their job myth number seven people with fibromyalgia are lazy and just don't want to power through it takes so much work just to be alive with fibromyalgia. The concept that anyone with FM is lazy is completely ridiculous. This is neurological pain that is physically disabling. So it's not it's not a power through kind of situation. It's not really an option. Myth number eight. I don't know if it's really a myth. Some people, fibromyalgia is completely benign. Like you don't, it's not going to kill you, which they always tell you when you're first diagnosed and you're like, you're in so much pain and you have been for so long that somebody telling you that you're going to live with this for the rest of your life is not the good news that the doctor thinks it is. All right, fibromyalgia is new is the next myth. It's not new. Um, kind of like eating disorders aren't new. You wouldn't click my eating disorder video. I don't know. I don't know how to do those things, but I might put it here. Or it'll just be down there, or there, depending on what you're watching me on. Fibromyalgia is not new. There's some people actually who think it was described in the Bible. It's been described in medical texts a lot, but we've only in the last, since the 90s, really fully understood that it's a medical condition that people experience. But fibromyalgia is rare. 2% of the population experiences fibromyalgia, which doesn't seem like a lot until you realize it's 1 in 50. That's like millions and millions of people. Not rare, very common, sucks.